Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. This is Motorhead, and this is Whorehouse Blues. This has got a really, really cool little riff kind of thing in it, and uh, it's a standard 145 blues. I'm going to be playing it in the key of G, open G, but uh, they actually play this in G sharp. And I will go over the how, how you would do that if you want to play along with the album. Also, I'm going to do some slide stuff so you can see how I am going to do it when I play it on my fretless. So I'll just show you how to do that as well, and that's very cool. So uh, let's play a little bit of this, and then I'll break it down. So here's a verse. <laughs> And I'll show you those settings at the end of the video because they're a little bit different than I normally use. Got a little more grit going on with this tune right here. So uh, the trick to this song is open G, C, and D. But how do we know where we are with everything? So open G at the nut. G, D, G. G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. C is the fifth fret, and it's a bar just like that. C sharp and D. Okay, and that's on the seventh fret. So just look at your dots or your moons right there. You can see where your moons are, and just think of it as, you know, I'm open, and then I go to that second moon or dot, and then I go to that second moon or dot. And just remember, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. G is up here again. So you can kind of do that with this. Play a little Chuck Berry-ish type of jam in it. There's a jam in it. There's also some harmonica playing, and I'll go over that when we get to it. But the trick to this is this little riff where you're going to take... So I use a lot of times, you know, my second finger and my pinky, and I was just showing you in the beginning, second finger, pinky, second finger, third finger. It really doesn't matter what fingers you use, but what you're going to do is go twice on the G, and then you're going to hit that B flat and the B, and that's on the third fret and the fourth fret, and you're going to... go down 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 I don't worry about going up and down or anything like that so it's down 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 and as you get better you can do that down down a strum strum and what's happening is really if you look at my fingers I'm open down, down, and then when I put my finger here, I'm just kind of muted with these two strings. So um, if you notice, right here, I'm actually on the fret, and that's the note that's playable. But the other two strings, they don't play. So that's kind of what you're doing here, is just muting a little bit, just by laying your hand on it, but not laying your hand down, like you're pressing down, you're just... And that's kind of... 
kind of a little trick, and I want you to see it. It's it's very simple and very complex at the same time. And so it looks really easy because why can't I do that? It's getting this timing down and all of those things along with your fingers moving. So if you're a beginner, don't worry that it's taken you too much time to learn this. It does take some time and getting the timing right. This song lyrically starts on the C. So you do the whatever fingers you like. C. Well, I'm up from the gutter. And if you notice, I'm doing this rock and roll rhythm. Wrong side of the track. We came C. Up from the gutter. So that's all you really need to know is this little riff. And in the acoustic version, they have the acoustic version on the album, you're going to hear a at the same time. That's because they got three guitars working. And you'll get the right vibe if you're just doing this. So in the jam, come up to 12. rock and roll rhythm and I like just coming down 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 but you can, you can do it any which way you like I usually like sticking with a rhythm that's the same way all the time through a song it seems to make more sense to me to stay with one rhythm so if you're gonna come up to C And if you don't do the rock and roll rhythm, I'm going to do a lyric without. Because we come blazing light, light you up real good. We come blazing like a shooting star, we'll light you up real good. I'll hit you like a flash of lightning. You can certainly fool around with it. There's plenty of room to maneuver and play and mess around with this thing. So I wanted to let you fretless guys know, because I'm going to put out a video of this on my shovel. And so, got my trusty slide. And so what I do with this is, same notes, except I'm going to be on fret and fret. <laughs> was I went from C and then went down to B flat because I really like the way that I just kind of like that vibe of coming up from B flat and then coming back down. Okay, that's how I would do it with a slide. So uh, just to show you that. So this song is in G sharp. So there are a couple of ways that you can work around it if you want to play to the song. You can put a capo here, or you can just play the rock and roll rhythm right here. Okay, so 
if I'm going to come up from the G to G sharp, I've got to come up one from the C to C sharp. And then when I get to the D, I need to come up one to the D sharp. So if you're here, the only thing that's missing the little mouth heart blue. So that's how you would play along with the album, and that's totally cool. Or if you got a big hand and you can navigate the stretch, that would be a very Black Sabbath y Tony Iommi way to. Because that's kind of how he operates. So uh, it, it would turn it more into a... to like work on that and play with it that's totally cool i would stick with g and just have fun with it like that or like i said put a capo here it's just a very cool tune if you're going to play the harmonica part you need a c harmonica and you're going to play in the cross harp position so when you're with a c harmonica you're going to blow in hole four but you're going to suck hole four or draw I always called it suck, but people don't like to say that word anymore. So you're going to draw hole four. So more draw than blow. More suck than blow, however you want to call it. And that's how you would do it. So put on your little machine and you stick your harmonica in there and you're looking for hole number four. Okay, so that's what you would do and you'd need a C harmonica. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. I want you to really enjoy this one because this, uh, that is just very cool. like that it's just totally cool uncle mark in the mothership thank you so much for all your generous donations i really really appreciate it a bucket show is all we ask and i did promise you i would show you these uh settings because it's it's a little uh let's put it this way it's a little darker than uh i normally have it so i'm still on that brit combo but boy my gain is is way up there and uh, my tone is about a three-quarter, and I have hardly any reverb. So those are the differences. So I just wanted to show you where my gain was. It's about four notches out of 12 o'clock. So uh, it's a lot stronger than normal. I do. I like that grit for this tune. But if you wanted to do it acoustic, you could take the gain away and... like the album so it's all totally up to you with what you do with it enjoy the song it's truly fun and it's lemmy what what can you say you know anytime lemmy is singing i'm like in heaven so uh thank you so much for everything you do for me and we'll see you again soon